Let's take a couple of minutes to turn this beautiful Bordeaux Minerva full grain Italian leather into this leather passport wallet with ivory stitching. What's going on guys, Adam here with 80 Proof Goods and this time I'm using my Glowforge here of course to cut out these panels to transform a little scrap of what I had uh, from a Bordeaux Minerva hide into a passport wallet for a customer. Now this is a customer design so they picked out the leather color and they paired it with their favorite stitching color which in this case was ivory stitching so it's just kind of like a slightly off white uh, which goes really really well with this Bordeaux and the Bordeaux is really like a wine color like a red wine color so it's kind of like blood red ish um, looks really great on a lot of stitching colors but the big pop of contrast with ivory is going to be one of my personal favorites on this leather and i would love to hear from you guys to see what you think of this particular stitching combination and what color you would have gone with otherwise now of course after the glow forge and after sanding off and beveling the edges on each one of the pieces including the interior piece I then break out my trusty double-sided tape from Tandy. It's about an eighth of an inch thick that I love to use for card slots like this, especially the ones that'll be tucked under other card slots after I thin it out with my skiving knife to reduce some of the bulk. I use a wing divider and mark my stitching line for the interior pockets an eighth of an inch away from the inside edge. I didn't really film the part of me stitching that just because it's just a couple of seconds. Um, you guys get the gist of that. Then I like to put my interior panel on my exterior panel using some water-based glue. Now that's my preference just because it's a lot easier to clean up and it holds everything Everything together especially long enough for me to get the stitching down and then I can burnish the edges to really solidify them in one piece now I use my Cobra class 26 loaded with my ivory stitching uh, to get this thing all stitched together and I like the stitch from the inside just because we've already stitched the inner pockets so I like to have the inner stitching done from the inside now the inside and outside do look a little bit different when it comes to sewing machines uh, you can typically get it to look pretty similar if you hand stitch it but you know production wise I like to use my uh, machine stitching for some of these bigger uh, projects like this wallet here um, so so I like to do the good side of the stitching on the inside of the wallet. Here there's a perfect representation of side by side between a burnished edge and a non-burnished edge. The right side there being token only canvas cloth and the left side was the fresh or raw uh, leather that was just cut and sanded down. And here you go. This is the customized wallet for a passport. Great for uh, anyone traveling a little bit wanting to hold the essentials. That BBP there is the customer requested initials that I engrave. Engraving is always free. So if you want to design your own, the link is going to be in the description. I'd love to see what you put together. Subscribe for more leather videos like this.